Health 6 Personal Health Unit 1 Lesson 1 Issues and Concerns on Height and Weight Objective Describe personal health issues and concerns that have to do with one's height and weight. Have you noticed some changes happening to your body? Do not scared because these changes naturally happen to children your age. You are now in states called puberty or adolescence. It means you are not a child anymore but you are not yet an adult too. The stage of puberty is a time of great change and growth. However, puberty does not begin at the same age for everyone. For some, it begins as early as age 10 to 12. For others, it starts at age 14 or later. Puberty can be confusing because the changes are different for each person. For example, some may experience growth spurts while others may exhibit slow growth. The important thing to do is to check whether the changes in height and weight are proportionate because this is an indication of good health. It is therefore important that you know how to check if your height and weight are ideal. In this lesson, you will learn how to deal on different issues and concerns that have to do with your height and weight. Let's try this. Look at the picture below how would you describe the height and weight proportion for its children. In your notebook, write down at least two sentences that describe each child. Get a partner. Talk to him or her about what you have written down. Did both of you come up with the same descriptions? Which of the children show ideal height and weight proportion? Children who are in the stage of puberty experience growth and development but not always at the same rate and pace. This is nothing to be concerned about because eventually, those who started developing late usually catch up with those who develop earlier and in some cases even surpass the growth of an individual. However, there are other factors that may affect growth of an individual. A. Familia Short parents have a tendency to bear children who are short. Tall parents have a tendency to bear tall children. Illnesses Some ailments experienced during infancy may cause growth problems. Hormonal Some people who have problems with pituitary gland cannot produce enough growth hormone. Congenital some babies are affected by ichoterine growth restriction, a condition in which a baby does not grow at a normal rate inside the womb. Diagnosing a growth problem Diagnosis of growth problem must be made by a doctor. The method used for diagnosis will depend on the type of growth disorder. Medical history and physical examination could help determine the disorder. Treatment of growth problems will depend on the types of growth disorder diagnosed. And here are the common body measurements. The children's growth status are assessed using the three most common body measurements. We have the low height for age, low weight for height, and high weight for height. Low weight for height, extreme thinness, also called wasting is common in places where children have a higher food shortage. It can also be caused by severe illness. Wasted children have a higher risk of becoming afflicted with common diseases and eventually dying. Low height for age. Stunted growth primarily affects people who suffered from malnutrition during childhood. Example of these are those who were breastfed by mothers who had poor nutrition during pregnancy. Poor sanitation and hygiene practices such as food handling, toilet habits, and drinking unsafe water also contribute to stunting. A stunted child is more likely to suffer from poor school performance, 
and at a high risk for diabetes and heart disease. High weight or high. This condition is usually associated with consuming more fatty and sugary food. These are stored in the body as fat when not burned through physical activities. However, this condition can also be due to highland body mass, in which case the person is considered overweight but not fat or obese. And now, let us talk about body mass index or BMI. We have underweight, healthy or ideal weight, overweight, and obese. Health professionals suggest calculating your body mass index or BMI as the best way to find out if your body weight is ideal. BMI calculated using the formula below. Notice that if a person's BMI is between 25 and 29.9, he or she is considered overweight. If one's BMI is 30 or over, he or she is considered obese. What categories should be a concern because of their implication on the health of an individual? Obesity, for example, increases the risk of many serious diseases such as hypertension and diabetes, which can cause or contribute to early death. It would be helped if a person who is considered underweight or overweight will do the following. If overweight, Stop intake of junk foods, sugary drinks. Reduce intake of fat and oily foods. If underweight, stop intake of junk foods, sugary drinks. Add intake of fruits and vegetables, especially nuts and beans, fish, carbohydrates like potato and sweet potato. Remember, Your app, recall the factors that affect the growth of an individual. Match column A and B. Write the letters of your answers in your notebook. Check out, choose the letter of the correct answer. Compute your BMI. Classify your category based on the categorization below. If you are underweight, overweight, or obese, write down what you can do to improve your weight. Compute the BMI of each member of your family. In your notebook, make a table to show their soul. Follow this format. 